Let me explain something to you. If you're going to sit here and look at this pretty face all day and listen to me and go through this strangeful idea here, don't do like so many people do. Get your permit and not get a gun. Or get your permit and not carry a gun. Okay? Why are you here? What is the real reason? I don't even hear it because I already know it. You already know it, so you don't even need to say it. But what's the real reason you're here now? Okay? It does absolutely no good to sit and go through this time, to pay your money, listen to me, watch that bright ass son of a bitch right there blind you for about two and a half hours, and not carry a gun. Okay? Anybody argue with me on that? Okay? Once you get your permit, once you get your firearm, make it a religion to carry your firearm. Okay? Wherever you go, carry your firearm. If you're not allowed anywhere to fire firearm, then don't go in that place. Or else, do like you're lawfully supposed to and keep it concealed and no one's going to know you are carrying one. Okay? How many of you ladies are going to carry your gun in your purse? Who goes through your purse if you go someplace? <laughs> if your partner carries and you carry, don't don't make it a habit of saying, well, I'm not going to wear my gun tonight because it don't match my britches or my shoes or my belt. It's the wrong color eyeliner, whatever. Don't make this a habit. Don't, don't let it happen. Simple reason is why. We'll say you all go to Publix or Walmart if you're brave enough to go to Walmart. And you're walking out of Walmart and someone jumps out from behind a car and knocks him down. Takes his gun. Or knocks him out. Then he's coming after you. But you don't have your pistol today because it might shoot. Okay? A lot of times, people decide not to carry their firearm for whatever kind of stupid reason. If you're going to carry this and you're going to do this, take the time, learn the practice, the muscle memory of putting that firearm on every day. Every day. I won't even go to church without my pistol on the side. I ain't got time to go to church anyhow, but if I did go to church, I'd still want to my pistol right If one of y'all died today and I went to your funeral, my pistol would be on my side. It's a religion to me that I go nowhere without my firearm. It's just the way that it is. We're going to go over a lot of different things. Um, a lot of hands-on pistols. I'm real crazy about safety. So when you hand your pistol to somebody else next to you or you hand it back to me, do me a favor, do not point that gun at somebody, even though it's unloaded, okay? Remember that the, the most dangerous firearm is the one that was unloaded, okay? If you have any questions about anything we're talking about, ask them. The only dumb question that in this class today was the one you did not ask, okay? We're teaching a, a lot of different things today, and you need to understand and know all you can possibly do learn and understand before you leave here, okay? First thing we're going to go over is going to be different types of revolvers. There's two different types of revolvers. Reasons to own a pistol, recreational shooting, competitive shooting, hunting, and protection of self and family, collecting, of course, the constitutional rights, which you're trying to take away from us every day as everybody knows that. I don't recommend, and most people don't recommend, carrying a single action revolver just due to the amount of time it takes to load it, reload it, and then the other thing is, is for every time you pull the trigger, you have to pull the hammer back in order to shoot the gun. Double action revolvers. Double action revolvers, they call it a double action revolver for one simple reason. Every time you pull the trigger, it performs two actions. One is pulling the hammer back, two is releasing the hammer. Okay? So it's called double action. Okay? Most double action pistols, you'll notice you got a hammer right here. You can fire in what they would classify as a single action mode. You can pull the hammer back, set it. Oh man, that's heavy. So whereas single action mode means for each pull of the trigger, it's performing one action, which is releasing the hammer. Components to make 
Oh my. You revolve. Okay. One's going to be your barrel. Anything's going to have a barrel of some kind. The frames holds it all together. And then the action. Action meaning any moving part inside or out that it pertains to making that gun go bang. A lot of these guns today are way different. Whoever's holding a gun. I have them all. Close it up. <laughs> close it up. And then you'll see right here on the side, you have your cylinder release latch. Okay? I think right there, the cylinder release latch is on the side. Go ahead and close it. Push out. Push out. There you go. You're going to have a firearm that you're going to carry. Know that firearm better than you know your spouse. Okay? Your spouse might save your life one day, some day she might kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the firearm, you need to know it better than you know anything else if you're going to carry it. Okay? Simple as that. They all look alike in a lot of different ways, but they all work different in a lot of different ways. Okay? So, what you're passing around there right now is your single light or your double action revolver. Everybody's done it? Did y'all get a pistol up here yet? Well, not Oh, I've been waiting for this one. <laughs> <laughs> that one's been in the family since we met. I bet. Was it your daddy's? <laughs> wow. One the poker game. I want one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but all you gotta do is pull it out and nobody will mess with you. Right. You'll be able to use it. You run out of bullets, you can beat the hell out of it. There you go. That's a different that's where your system on that gets really tricked out. It's a very not cool to use there. Alright, so everybody understands what the double action revolver is and how it works. Okay. Keep in mind a lot of these new guns out now that are designed strictly for self defense. Carry concealed in a purse like that. A hammer on one of these firearms, depending on how you carry it. I don't know if anybody's ever reached in their toolbox and grabbed a pair of jumper cables and it pulls everything in the whole toolbox out before you get them out. Okay, <laughs> then it gets hung on the toolbox. Okay, so now somebody got smart and they designed a double action revolver that is double action only. Because it has no hammer back here. It's just smooth. Okay? That is considered a double action only revolver because there's no way to pull the hammer back to shoot it in a single action point. Okay? It's called a hammerless revolver. Okay? Really nice if you're going to carry it in your purse. Really nice if you're going to carry it like in your pants. So if you got overhang like I got, if you got a pistol sitting here, it's all right when you stand up. But when you sit down, and that hammer tries to go through your gut, mm -hmm. you don't understand why they made that fire. Okay? Now, let me see these pistols that are out there. Thank you. Just the last one. I always got to make sure somebody hands me this one. One of these days, someone's going to try to put that. The cylinder does not open. You have to half cock the hammer. The cylinder will now free spin. You have a door right here. Your ejector is here. You can see that rod come out back here? Yeah. So you put one end at a time, one end at a time, one end at a time. And then when you shoot them and you unload it, you take one out at a time. One at a time. I know y'all seen John Wayne. I know some of y'all too, y'all you know John Wayne in it. He's sitting up on that mountain and he's shooting. 12, 14 times with his six round pistol. Yeah. <laughs> and a minute later, that runs out of bullets. Eventually, he runs out of ammo. He got up. He got more ammo in that revolver than I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but then he starts reloading, and two seconds later, he's back in that gunfight again. Bullshit. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> These things take forever to unload, and they take forever to load. Okay. Then you close the door. You pull the hammer back. Every time you fire this gun, you have to pull the hammer back because it is a single action revolver. And remember, I said you can fire your center, your double action pistol in single action mode by pulling the hammer back and pulling it. 
single action revolver, you can pull the trigger until the cow's done hanging, you break the trigger off and you wear a blister in your finger, it's not gonna shoot unless you pull the hammer back. Every time you fire, you have to pull the hammer back. You're supposed to do it like that? <laughs> well, you guys have old school, okay? The new school, all you have to do is open up the side door, cylinder free spins. You don't have to have to pop the trigger or the hammer. Okay, why would why would we want a design like this? Why would we want to change that design? Don't accidentally pull the trigger. Huh? Don't accidentally pull the trigger. Are you looking? A lot of people when they're trying to half stop the hammer, it pops and it goes bang. Okay? So the new school guns, you open the door and it free spins the the cylinder. Pass it all around. Uh, yeah. Half stop hammer. Oh no, I, I am. I was just playing with it. And then there's a door Doing over here to, to put the. Um, yeah. <laughs> you, you see how to get the rounds out? No, how do you get them out? Look right here where I showed you a minute ago when you weren't paying attention to me. Uh, see that uh, you talk a lot, so. <laughs> well, I'm to... oh, okay, so you push this and it brings it. Okay. <laughs> I can't see that. I can't see that. You're <laughs> way over there. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah. Richard, I, I couldn't <laughs> see. Why do you think I'm recording this because I'm going to forget it all? <laughs> Did you have this one now? Okay. <laughs> We're going to say you wake up in the middle of the night because you hear something in your mouth. Okay? You know it because you came to my class and you listen to me. You'll get a lot more accuracy if you pull the hammer back and fire this pistol in a single action mode versus a double action mode. Okay? So you pull the hammer back, and you're sitting there, and you're ready for something to come through your bedroom door or whatever, because we just heard something for real and out that woke us up and scared the hell out of us. So your pistol hammers back, and you're ready to rock and roll, okay? Then you go out and you clear your living room, your kitchen, whatever, where you heard the noise, and you realize it's a damn cat, not something off the counter. <laughs> we got three choices. We can't put it back like that because we know how easy if you bump the trigger, it's going to go bang. Okay? So how would we safety this firearm? Choice number one, shoot the damn cat. <laughs> <laughs> Choice number two, walk out back, go bang, bring the neighborhood those craziness and law, law enforcement everywhere. Choice number three is the one I recommend. They, they, they are getting the damn page. <laughs> Choice number three, the proper way to do it. You will take your thumb, you will pull back on the hammer. You will pull the trigger and ease the hammer back with your thumb. Okay? Now, have you ever done this before? Listen to me because this is the truth. If that thing's back there and you do it improperly and that thing slips off of your finger, it's going to go bang. Yeah. Okay? And wherever that thing's pointed is where it's going to come out. Okay? So, when you're handling this firearm and you are trying to safety the handle back, always make sure it's pointed in a safe direction. Okay? I think it's going to hurt. Yeah. Okay. A little slow, sweetheart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go back to you. that damn cat on the counter again, okay? It's the middle of the night. We'll say you have grandkids that freak at your home, or you have kids that freak at your home, but you want your handgun to clean you and clean grab area at nighttime. 
So it sits on your nightstand and your child or grandchild knows you don't touch that damn thing. But I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. With my hand gun laying there on my nightstand with a chamber ground in it. If I had no kids running around my house. Okay? No, that's not how it's just how you check it. Keep playing with it, butter. How does this one shoot, Richard? It will not fire without a magazine in it. Oh, okay. They make guns and make it so many different ways, okay? They make guns and make it so many different ways. Three main rules for NRA. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. What's a safe direction? Down the way. Okay. Common sense. All right. We're in a two-story house. And we're upstairs. Point it down. Okay. You're downstairs in a two-story house. Okay. Common sense. Fundamental machining are very cool. Trigger pull and side alignment. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love it out here. All right, here's sheep first. Go ahead, but do not put that magazine in the firearm, okay? Please. She shot it right in your hole. Minus the two on the bottom. 